You can build the stack for $30. Here's the list. Your main grade 3 is Assassize Kairi. Whenever it attacks, you can Soul Blast 1 and put 2 of your rear guards back into your hand. And at the end of the battle, she attacks. If you Persona Road this turn, you can call 2 cards from your hand into different rows. So 1 in your front row, and 1 in your back row. So we want our Persona Ride turns to be really strong, and at minimum we'll have 4 attacks that will be decently power boosted because of the plus 10k from Persona Ride. So we want more ways to either generate advantage advantage, gain more power, or call more units whenever you call things down off of Kyrie. So the main card you want to combo this with is Laplume. So when placed on Rearguard, if your Vanguard is an Astacize, you can call a Grade 2 or less Astacize from your soul to an open Rearguard as rest. But if it's during the battle phase, you stand the unit. So whenever you call this off of Kyrie, then you're able to call something from your soul to the other front row circle and have a fifth attack off of it. So our ride line naturally has Assassize in its name. The grade one is a 10k beta on rear guard. And then whenever you ride it, you can call a grade one or less from your drop to rear guard as rest. You basically don't have to lose a card off of whenever you ride into it. And then the grade two is a 15k beta itself on rear guard. And also on attack, it's a a free way to bounce something back to your hand. So because of the ride line, you're naturally able to be more aggressive since the grade one calls the thing you discard and then the grade two is able to bounce it back to hand. So we have a friend package in here. We have Arlette in here as a way to bounce it back into your hand at the end of its battle. So you're able to free up a slot on your rear guard to be able to call another thing off of Laplin. We have Larissa that just gets more power the more friends you have in play. We have Iveta, which is a 10k booster or attacker. And then the last of the friend package is Dukela. This is a replacement for Melty. Once per turn when your other unit with the friend ability is placed in the same column as it, you can cam last one and draw a card. So you're able to proc this each turn because Kyrie is able to bounce things back into your hand and then you can call them back down. It is a once per turn so you can't do it multiple times per turn unless if you have multiple Dukelas in play. For the most part, Dukela is still a solid way to draw cards through your deck. And then the last card that's not the trigger is Fluretti. So when your other rear guards return to your hand by your grade 3 or grade of Vanguard's ability, you can cam last one, move it to soul draw card, and then call a grade 3 from your hand to an open rear guard. So our only grade 3s are extra Kyries and Arlette, but Arlette is able to keep coming back into our hand. So what happens with this is we attack with both columns, and then Arlette bounces itself back into your hand, and then you attack with Kyrie, and you're able to bounce more things back into your hand, and then Fluretti will activate off of it and you can move it to soul and then call Arlette back down and then at the end of the battle Kyrie is able to call a column and then you have two more attacks ready to go. So here's the main combo. We Persona Road this turn. We have Fluretti and Arlette in play and then we just have a back row filled with boosters. So we attack with Arlette and then Arlette will bounce back to hand at end of battle. Then we attack with Fluretti while boosted and then we attack with Kyrie and we do Kyrie's skill to soul blast and bounce the two boosters we've used back into our hand and then Fluretti will activate so we move into soul and then we call the Arlette back down from our hand and then we do our twin drive and then Kyrie will activate so we're able to call Laplume and Larissa and then Laplume will call Nanami from our soul behind Arlette so then we attack with Arlette and then Arlette can bounce back to hand if we want it to. And then we attack with our last column. Here are our list of upgrades. The main thing you want to try to get for this deck is Grade 4 Kyrie. Because it has triple drive and naturally gives power to things. And all of its costs are free. So you're able to control your resources a lot better. And spend your resources on other cards. You can also go with Melty. Because it gives you extra card advantage. And you can keep bouncing it back into your hand each turn. And then Yuika is the other big one. Because you can bounce things back into your hand without needing to commit your big attackers on that spot. So if you're able to get Yuikas, then putting in more things that gain power is better in that scenario. And here is the deck code for the deck.